Come and spend your autumn years in an Indian palace. This is the day. It's a luxury development where all the residents are in their golden years. Like the coast of Florida. Yeah, but with more elephants. Flight 247 to Delhi is boarding now. Would you like some of this? I believe it's called alu carparata. Now, if I can't pronounce it, I don't want to eat it. Is this your first time in India? Yes. Do you think we'll be all right? It's going to be extraordinary. Welcome to the best exotic Marigold Hotel. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. There's an Indian in there. I want to stay at the other hotel, the one that's in the brochure. In India, we have a saying, everything will be all right in the end. So if it is not all right, it is not yet the end. This is a new and different world. The challenge is to cope with it. And not just cope, but thrive. I got a job, my first ever. I'm about to make the first public speech of my life. Imagine them naked. I'm afraid I gave that up several years ago. Ah, there you are. Good as new. Really? No, of course not. <laughs> Would you like me to not fix that chair? How can you bear this country? What do you see that I don't? Well, the light, colours, smiles. It teaches me something. <laughs> She wants to thank you for your kindness. I haven't been kind. You are the only one that acknowledges her. I'm not eating that. I have a dream to create a home for the elderly so wonderful that they will simply refuse to die. Oh! This man is dead. <gasps> Must preserve his dignity. <gasps> Did I nod off? India, like life itself, I suppose, <laughs> is about what you bring to it. I'm really loving this! <laughs> Are you all right? I just want a glass of water. That was a gin and tonic. Mm. I know that now. The best exotic Marigold Hotel. You're not worried about the danger of having sex at your age. If she dies, she dies. 